So if you're like me, you're probably sitting around thinking, I wonder what the CCs of my cylinder head is. We're gonna find out today. We're gonna do that. We're gonna check it on these heads. I certainly have been sitting around all week wondering what the CC of my cylinder head is. I drive down the road often thinking about these things. Uh, so what I, these are Edelbrock Performer RPM heads for a 440. Uh, they've been CNC machined, and so they have machined the chambers and made them bigger. They're advertised as being 84 cc's. I want to see what they are now. Why does it matter? Why do you even need to know? Well, if, you're, if your cylinder head, the chamber size is bigger than what you thought it was, you're going to have less compression in your engine. And conversely, if it's smaller, you're going to have more compression than you thought. I want to know because we're building this engine from scratch, so I want to know all the details of, of what the kind of volume we're dealing with. We haven't ordered pistons yet, so it's an important thing to know if you're building an engine, how big your cylinder heads are. So this is something to find out before you order your pistons, hopefully. Um, what do you need to do this? Well, well, you need this. This is a glass brouette. Is that the right chemistry term? I don't know. I think so. I got it from Powerhouse. Actually, I think you bought it for me from Powerhouse. I did. I did. It was a birthday present, I think. Yeah. You're going to need a piece of plastic. You're going to put this over the chamber when you get ready to pour the liquid in. You're going to need um, <clears throat> some rubbing alcohol. This has a blue food dye in it. Where did you get blue food dye, Tom? You know, I don't know where that came from. My cabinet, that's where. <laughs> so I, I pulled the valve springs off. We need to seal the valve so they don't leak the what rubbing you, alcohol. What are you sealing it with? This is white grease. I've had it a very long time. You can yeah, it's kind of more like off-white grease. Barely make it out. So you, you just want to put a light, light film on there just to seal it. And then repeat on the smaller valve, technically the exhaust valve in this case. I like using the white grease. You could probably use any kind of grease you had on hand. Don't use silicone. Yeah, silicone would be funny. I just got that joke. <laughs> so you also need to seal uh, a spark plug, because otherwise we'd have a, a pretty big leak. So you just put some on the threads. Give it a wipe around. Put that in there. You just want to snug it down. We're going to set the head up with uh, this end being a little bit high so we pour the, the liquid in it'll go to the top like so oh, so it's kind of um as sort of as straight as you can get it uh, horizontal that's the right word well you don't want it totally flat you want a high area so the the air will come all the way to the top Put some grease on there i like to smear it down pretty flat there's fancier ways of putting the grease on. I've seen people use little syringes. It's very cute. Uh, I'm kind of a backyard hack, so we're going to do it this way. One thing you do want to do is, or you don't want to do, is don't get too much grease in the chamber, so you wipe the excess out, because obviously that would, uh, you know, diminish where your fluid's going to be. There you go. Put the hole near the top. Highest point in this case. And then you press the plastic down so that it makes a good seal. You can see how the grease smooshes. Is that a word, smoosh? Yeah, sure. All right, we need to pour some alcohol in here. Always make sure this is in the off position, otherwise, you should be pouring a very long time. This is pretty much how I make drinks, too. Yeah, you could do this with vodka. I'm sure there's lots of people that did do it with vodka. Oh, you mean in the in the thing or drinking? Well, either. That looks pretty good. Zero. And it's a pretty simple process. This is, you just put it over the hole like so. Try, not, try not to make a mess. You don't want to waste any fluid because you're you're doing a measurement here. Turn the valve on. Yeah. 
There's already a little bit of a fail because I didn't put it in the right place. It's got to be close enough for who it's for. So we're going to let it fill up and we're going to see how many cc's of fluid it, it holds. And you can see the getting pretty full. You got to get near the, near the top, you're going to slow down the flow. And you just fill it up till all the air is out. Last little air bubble. Mm -hmm. They were pretty full there. And now you look at the scale here. We got 25, 50, these are in cc's, 75. What is that? 80, 85. So it's 87 cc's. So the chambers are a little bit bigger than the uh, factory. And we're going to factor that in when we order pistons. We'll either uh, deck the heads more or, or uh, buy different pistons. But now we know. Hooray! It's just that easy.